Okay, so question 13. Just want to make a couple of updates just to the, the slide here that I've already made to the PDF. So these units should not be in Newton per meter, but Newton dash meter for all of them, obviously. So just to make that note before I start, and it's what net torque must the motor supply to take to this from 0 to 1800. So there, those changes are made on the actual PDF. Okay, so I've got a question here on a 200 gram, 20 centimeter diameter plastic disc. It's spun on an axle through its center by an electric motor. What net torque must the motor supply to take the disc from 0 to 1800 revolutions per minute in 4 seconds? So we've got a, a, a moment for the disc. So this is, this is essentially a rotational dynamics problem when we're trying to compare the uh, find the net torque knowing I and knowing alpha. So technically the question is sort of related to Newton's the rotation analog of Newton's second law, so the net torque is equal to I alpha. So the I is one half m r squared, so we do have the mass of the disk, we do we can find the radius, and this information will be related to the angular acceleration. So maybe I'll do that uh, separately and just to sort of break it up here. And so alpha will be equal to delta omega over delta t. So delta omega is eighteen hundred uh, RPMs, but I can't divide RPMs uh, by seconds, and in order to get the net torque in the correct units, alpha must be in radians per second. So the change here is 1800 RPMs, so minus zero, which is just 1800 RPMs, so by four seconds. So what we want to do here is first convert this 1800 revolution per minute to uh, radians per second. So I want to have in my numerator 1800 and um, so in a sense we want to multiply this by 2 pi uh, to get the 1800 revolutions into radians and then I want to divide by 60 to get it into uh, radians per second and this will be in, sorry, at the end here radians and now we'll just divide it by 4 seconds so this is this piece here in the numerator is converting the 1800 RPMs to 18 uh, to its unit, correct units in radians per second. So 1800 revolutions is 2 pi radians per revolution. If you want to do everything completely in uh, correct units, those revs will end up cancelling, and uh, you'd end up at radians per second divided by uh, you end up at radians per second divided by the seconds, and this should give you an acceleration of. 47 radians per second squared. So once you've done that hard work, now you can uh, go back to the original equation and find the net torque. So the net torque will be I alpha, so the I is 1 half m r squared. So 1 half, make sure everything is in the correct SI units. So 200 grams is 0.2 kilograms. The radius will be half of this 20 centimeters, so that's 10 centimeters, which is 0.1 meters. Have to square all that quantity and then you multiply by alpha so you can all that work here above. And, and then this should give you the answer is a 0 0.047 Newton meters. So once again, making a note there of the units I have in the printed slide here. But those changes should be made already on the PDF. So it should give you choice A is the correct answer.